On Saturday, Trump said this in South Carolina. All these presidents came in, they'd make a speech, they'd leave, and that was it. And they all owed money, and they wouldn't pay it. I came in, I made a speech, and I said, you got to pay up. They asked me that question. One of the presidents of a big country stood up and said, well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, you didn't pay? You're delinquent? He said, yes, let's say that happened. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. You got to pay your bills. And the money came flowing in. I said, no, no, you have to understand. You don't pay your bills, you get no protection. It's very simple. Donald Trump is stupid. He believes, and he has MAGA believing, that the way NATO works is that people pay into NATO for NATO to defend them. And that's not the case. NATO, or the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, simply means an attack on one nation in NATO is an attack on all. And all nations agree to pay about 2% of their GDP to defend their nations. The money is not given to NATO. When it comes to GDP or the gross domestic product of a nation, you're supposed to spend up to 2% or more on your own defense spending. Here's a list of some of the countries that spend over and some of the countries that need to catch up as far as spending 2% of their gross domestic product on their own defense. This chart was in 2017. Here's the chart in 2023. As you can see, there are a lot more countries spending 2% or more on their own defense. Now, there are other nations in NATO that still need to catch up, but they're very close. So, did countries pay more under Trump? Or under Biden. Now, when you talk about who funds NATO as far as the building, maintenance, trash, pens, papers, toner, whatever, if you look at this chart from 2017 under Trump's administration, it shows you that we're not even the biggest contributors to that. It's the number on the right. So, in 2023, there have been more nations under Biden that's been contributing more to their government defense than under Trump. Trump believes that NATO runs like this. They offered protection but required businesses to pay a certain portion of their profits to the mafia. If you refuse to pay them their share of your profits, you will have to protect yourself from them, which is a really bad idea. But if you ally with them, they will help you to deal with your competitors. You didn't pay? You're delinquent? No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. And also, the president under the United States Constitution can make treaties with other nations with the approval of the Senate. So when the president makes a treaty, which is what NATO is, and the Senate approves it, it becomes law. So it is a law, a United States law, that we defend those countries in NATO if they're attacked. By Trump saying that he won't defend those nations, he is violating U.S. law, which also means he's in violation of the United States Constitution. And what does MAGA care? They don't care if he suspends the United States Constitution. That shows you how dumb MAGA is. He also said this. You got to pay your bills. Donald Trump's business debt is estimated at $1.3 billion. Next September, Trump has a $100 million loan due on the commercial space inside Trump Tower. Two months after that, he'll have another debt mature at another New York skyscraper known as 1290 Avenue of the Americas. If he and Vornado refinance that loan as well, Trump could walk away with another $75 million. Doing that would also give him some breathing room for 2023, when loans on his golf resort in Miami are due. He'll also have to think about his DC and Chicago Trump hotels in 2024, when an estimated $215 million loan from Deutsche Bank is set to expire. And all of this is on top of the $83 million he owed E. Jean Carroll, the $5 million he still owe E. Jean Carroll, and the almost $500 million that New York Attorney General Letitia James is going to get from his ass. And that's also in addition to all the lawyers that he owes, to include Rudy Giuliani. Pay your bills. Or better yet, MAGA, you keep paying his bills. What do you think?